Guys, yeah, it's about damn time. What am I talking about? Pete over at the Armory Channel finally, finally is going live with his Armor Guard holsters. Now, I can personally say I get asked about the Mose and the Gaunt, and when is Pete gonna start offering his holsters to everybody? That time is now. And, uh,. Anybody that knows me knows, and, and Jolson, I saw your comment on Pete's video, Jolson. Um, I talk about what I like. And, um, okay, this is where Pete is going to kill me. Um, Pete, Pete said the, the, the thing was going to go live, uh, told me, told me uh, quite a while ago, and he's like, I'm trying to work out a few things as soon as it's ready to go, and I'm like, okay. I've got a few of your holsters, and he's like, no, no, no. Pete is a... You can say what you want about Pete at the Armory Channel, but in case you didn't know, not only is he a perfection perfectionist, a picky little bitch, wants everything perfect, and just wants his product to be that way. So he has been working for literally years now. Literally years now. And I was like, yeah, I can, I can show the guys some of my uh, favorite holsters. And he's like, no, 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 uh, I, I, wa I want to make you uh, one of the latest ones to make sure that, you know, I'm, this is like uh, exactly like uh, uh, I'm doing it right now. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I told Pete that I wouldn't show you guys any of my old ones. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you are a YouTube review guy... There's a good chance I should I should go get it and pull it out because you you'd be like yeah I know go get it and pull it out yeah, I'll run with that um, I I have been giving away holsters over the last few years otherwise I had two great big boxes we're gonna send you a holster we want you to do a video you guys have seen some you guys have not seen some I've taken some down because uh, they were screwing customers over and not answering emails and phone calls and all the above but as a YouTube review guy I ended up with boxes of holsters so I wanted I I I am Pete I'm sorry I'm gonna piss you off I am going to tell you about some of my old holsters because every gun that I carry on a regular basis, that old EDC thing, is in an Armor Guard holster. Why? Because it's flat out the best holster I've ever used for what I like. Uh, I prefer, and you're going to see, uh, I prefer the... Uh, inside the waistband holsters um, for me I know some of you are gonna go how is that possible I find that when I wear an outside the waistband holster I feel the holster and when I wear an inside the waistband holster they just disappear and especially with Pete's uh, this happens to be the newest one I've had this now for I believe I've had it for three weeks and he made this uh, for my, my G22. So this should be, you know, a G17. And, you know, it is just hands down. You know, the retention is spot on perfect. Enough that you're not going to fear that you're going to lose the gun. And yet not so much that you're going to, you know, rip your pants off uh, trying to, uh, you know, deploy the gun. He uses a, a high quality, uh, high quality belt clip. And I noticed from some of my oldest ones that uh, he changed uh, over that design. So again, he, I, I understand, Pete. I understand. Just shut up. Uh, that he wanted the latest representation of what he has. Just look at all of the smoothed off edges. Ignore any dust bunnies, because this has been this has been my uh, my my work gun for three weeks now. I was just like, okay, I'll just 
I'll, I'll, I'll switch to that one instead. So that's that. Um, he also uh, spars back and forth with uh, Ms. Bomi because they're both uh, hockey freaks. It's one thing to like hockey, it's another thing to just be freaks. The two of them, so help me God, if the Rangers are playing the Flyers, it is back and forth taunting all night. Uh, well, uh, Christine, finally, and unfortunately I can't show you the gun in it but because it's on layaway, Christine finally decided on a carry gun, and she went with the... Uh, SIG uh, 365 SAS, SAS, and uh, Pete uh, wanted to surprise her and uh, made, made her a holster just for that so she can start carrying it as soon as she picks it up. And yes, she can because uh, we, we're getting it from dead on range. So not only can you buy the gun there, you can walk out onto the range and uh, put a couple boxes of ammo through it and they immediately start carrying it. So uh, that's that. Going back a little ways, uh, he made me a... Uh, okay, I don't, I don't want this video to go long, I apologize, but there is a funny story with this. Uh, Pete sends me a picture of a blue gun. And he goes... What what model Smith and Wesson does this look like to you? And I said it looks like a 5906. And he's like, oh. And I go, yeah. I just I happen to have a 5906. And he's like, uh, well, shit. I'll uh, I'll make you up a I'll make you up a holster for it. And I go, I appreciate that because the Smith and Wesson 5906 is one of my most carry guns. I'm uh, I know J Dog. I'm a big time uh. I'm a big time old old school Smith and Wesson fan. These are workhorse guns, and uh, Pete Pete made uh, a holster for a 5906. But I couldn't I couldn't miss the opportunity to mess with him. Um, I got a I got a, a, a I got a text from him, and he goes, "According to shipping, your holster's on your front porch." And I'm like, "Okay, cool." When I get home. So, um, I sent him a picture of this. <laughs> this is the 10, the 1006. This is a much bigger gun. This is not the holster for it. And I, I sent him a picture and I, I put, what the hell? <laughs> I got like two texts and then the phone rang and he's just like, it's, it's not my fault. I sent you a picture and you told me what kind of gun it was. <laughs> um, uh, I got this uh, 4043 from Hornet Fixer and it's the uh, the same size. So again, this is this is awesome. This is uh, again he uh, this is uh, this is closer uh, to uh, like I've I've had this one now for I know like well over a year and something. So I'm not allowed to show you that one though. Um, let's see, uh, going, uh, going way back in time, and, and I get, I get what he's, what he's going at, but I got the, uh, he made me an outside the waistband for, uh, the, the G19, and, uh, I, I have to say, I'm not a fan of an outside the waistband holster, and yet I, uh, I've used this one quite a bit. I honestly, I've used this one quite a bit. And, uh, I want to, I want to say the very very first one and this is like I don't know Pete three three plus years ago uh, he made me one for the gun that has the most hit time in my arsenal and that's my uh, my Walther PPS and uh, again he's had his changes uh, and as you can see Eric has uh, taken all of the uh, anodizing or coating off of it but uh, uh, this is three years of uh, of constant use. Uh, it still it still gets carried. Consider actually, I was carrying this uh, until I got that uh, holster for the uh, G17 and decided, hey, I'm gonna give a inside the waistband on a on a much bigger gun a run for uh, at work, laying on the ground, laying under a vehicle, laying under a counter, laying under a truck stop. Um, so. 
Uh, then of course uh, there's been some uh, specialty stuff. Of course I can't I can't I can't show you if uh, Pete happens to have the um, happens to have the items the uh, FN57 with the uh, T TLR2 HLG or uh, maybe uh, maybe the light isn't on it. And he decided to snazz it up and did something like uh, like this, uh, but I can't show you that stuff. So I will have a link to Armor Guard holsters down in the description box, and uh, if you want to check out Pete's uh, Pete's video, all you guys that have been asking when, well, it's now. And you know, if you check out the website, and there's. Uh, your gun isn't on there, or there's a, it says your gun and there's no picture. Uh, don't assume anything. Uh, just just contact contact Armor Guard holsters and see if uh, see if he happens to have. You know, I know he's got his favorite blue guns, the really high quality ones, but you know maybe he can still uh, do one up uh, again I know he he's probably would probably start twitching and stuff because he is an absolute perfectionist but guys that that represents some of my most carried guns and what do they all have in common Pete from the Armory Channel's company Armor Guard holsters that's what they have in common and I can stand here and passionately tell you about them because they're simply the best holster of any of the holsters I have ever been sent, tried, purchased, and used. So, links are down below. Please uh, go check it out. And like I said, if you don't see your gun, your gun's not uh, listed, uh, check with Pete just to make sure. Otherwise, he is purchasing molds uh, for uh, different style guns as quickly as he can. And I know the way he is, he's not going to be done until he can make a holster for uh, all of the, the guns that are out there that people are carrying. So, okay guys. And if you're lucky enough to live anywhere near him, then you can uh, say what I wish I could do and go get like my race gun build. Uh, build that I have and take it over to Pete and have him make me a custom holster for it. You can. There's just going to be a little FFLing uh, taking place there. So check out the information down below. And uh, if you're looking for some of the, now this is me, some of the best holsters that I have ever used. Armor Guard holsters. Thanks guys.